Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Rebel Ink Escalation custom scenarios. Today we're looking at a scenario that's actually been on my list for a little bit, but I keep putting it off. The Revolutionary by Nuthacorn1168. Your country is governed by a constitutional monarchy. There are venerable king and talented prime minister. Our country is thriving at its peak, but then there was a coup in 2014 with the King Rear. The King Rear? Uh, in spite of that, the royal family should not interfere in politics. I'm not really sure I fully understand what's going on here. Did the king take over or no? The royal family should be able to be criticized, but if anyone did, they would be killed. I'm going to go with yes. You are a politician who escaped prison and formed the revolutionary group for the, to fight the royalists. Start a revolution in February of 2016. Using Google Translate. No problem. Understood. These things happen. All right. Doctor, tribal elder, celebrity, tax collector, chef, and logistics experts. Seems fine, normal difficulty, and we don't get to name it. It's simply called Revolution. Of course it's this map again. Hey. All right. Welcome to your office. It's been a four months since we seized the parliament. More than half of state employee obey you. It's time to develop our country and solve the problems the tyrants have made. And don't forget to get rid of the royalists. Okay, so we're not the insurgent revolutionaries. We've taken over successfully and cooed the coup, I guess. And now the royalists are fighting back to an extent. Also, this feels like a recipe to become a dictator. But I'm good with that. Set up HQ. You know what? Right next to both of the embassies where it's nice and safe. That sounds good. We do start with a garrison and a blockade. So that's going to be nice along the river. Just got to control these two points and then just let them just kind of trickle in and die. That's the best way to go. Ooh, okay, hang on. We got a few things rearranged around here. Civilian, what do we got? Warfare. You mean welfare? Uh, let's see. Improving lives. We got state healthcare services. Okay. That's already starting with health researched. Food stamps, state pensions, state housing, and child care provision. Quite a few misspellings going into all this, but that is fine. So let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just making sure. Provide for themselves for retirement. So basically social security. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Makes sense. Lots of basic government interventionary measures and programs in order to stabilize the populace. Development discussions, presumably for jobs. Water supplies seems probably important. We have state schools. We have public libraries, university grants, technology colleges, and compulsory foreign language classes. Um, honestly, some of these feel like they've been taken directly from a democracy game. Am I, am I crazy on that? Anyway, let's go for the compulsory foreign classes and the public libraries. That's pretty good support for very little corruption. I did notice down over here with technology colleges and the specialist schools, right? Uh, it says, unlocks new technology. Don't know what that means. Also, I see we just unlocked export agencies. Significantly increase the support level due to open export offices and identify products suitable for international markets. Got it. So it seems like we get access to jobs before I even go for the development discussions. I'm down for that. Roads, electricity, telecoms, all normal stuff. Then we have law and order. We have a mayor. That's a lot of support level. I'll buy it. Uh, genital mutilation ban. Again, this feels like something now out of Democracy Africa. I'm pretty sure is, uh, is actually a policy from that game. Legal aid. Okay, so everyone gets a chance in court. The judicial independence. Uh, good for the hostile population. It costs nothing, so I'll do it. And then absolution. Release some political prisoners. They can help us. This is also free. No corruption, just support. All right. Police is a thing, and then we can announce, I guess, something to get 50 reputation. Holy crap, 50 reputation for free right out? That's great. Deploy mercenaries, national soldiers, interpreters and guides, garrisons, and then military spending. The army is the cause of the coup in our country. In peacetime, the army is not needed, but now it is necessary. I'll start it up, and that unlocks some various different upgrades. Youth soldiers uh, apparently support, uh, reduce support level by a lot, but increase national soldier strength. We're going to try to avoid that if we can. All right, so we're starting with a rather absurd amount of uh, early support. I'm hoping we are going to be fighting a lot, but it looked to me like I just saw very briefly some of the royalists kind of disband themselves, which means we might have actually reduced the hostile population by, like, a lot, which could be very good for me. Uh, so that's interesting. Oh, my God, it's so much support level. Um, can we reduce corruption? I just realized that's not even a thing. Uh, oh, uh, ooh. Do we, do we not have a way to reduce corruption? Because if not, that's going to become a challenge. Let's start training up some additional troops. Let's go for, I don't know, how about some basic roads and highways just so I can move around. We are authorized for all sorts of initiatives. We already have one national soldier training, hence why I was happy to pick up a second one. Just go ahead and get that going. Three camps have revealed themselves to me. 
Let's make an announcement to the public. Ah, effective procurement is there. Okay. Um, well, we could go for things like district representatives, but unfortunately, I still don't see any evidence of corruption reduction yet. More blockades? There might actually be something on every bridge. It's as if they're trying to make it so that the royalists can take over half the map. But that's going to be worth a lot of reputation loss, and I'd really rather not do that. So, I don't know. Virtuous leader. Okay. Increase the support level, gains 15 reputation. Hum, 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 hum. Okay, we pick that up. Then we go for district representatives. I'm looking for any sign of corruption reduction. I'm not seeing it. Corruption becomes a rather important mechanic for when you're getting national soldiers, so I'm a little concerned. Uh, almost done stabilizing this already. That was pretty quick. Let's go over the PR and media office. Um, I mean, inflation's obviously a concern, but okay. Let's get some extra garrisons building up. Might as well. I will place one down over here. Sure, right here seems fine. Place one in this area just so we can easily contain these areas along the bridge, primarily. I need to get those troops in position, though. They keep moving around, and they're invisible. All right. Coalition troops it is. Deploy! Fight, fight, fight! There we go. They die. Instant. Perfect. Love it. There's no modifiers up over here, so I wasn't sure if you're going to have that whole, like, invisible uh, people, but it does seem that way. It does seem that way. Um, legal aid. Uh, I'm looking for anything for corruption reduction. Anything at all. Regional census. Nope. That's just... Okay. We've got lots of inflation now, so I have to sit back and not spend all my money. Any more troops trained up, please? And thank you. Looking for signs of explosions in territory that I care about. They have a lot of connected zones. Yeah, yeah, that is a thing. I'm aware. I'm aware. Um, airstrikes, interpreters and guides, more soldiers. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Uh, all right. So we're going to deploy a couple more mercs, and we're going to start going on the offensive, I think. Let's go ahead and first grab a couple of specialists just before I forget. They are coming in to attack me again, but that ain't going to go well for them. We will deploy both these specialists to our national soldiers when the time comes. Now we go ahead and start making the push. Now, of course, by doing this, right, um, we really need to make sure that they don't retake these cities, or else we're going to be in for a really rough time. No, I don't like. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Is this considered a remote zone? It is. So we'll do a remote specialist right here and try to hold on to this ground for as long as we can. Professionals, national soldiers train strong, faster, blah, blah, blah. Our corruption is really, really high, and it's going to start hurting my, um, it's going to start hurting my support. Uh, okay, let's go over technology colleges. You said that got me new technology. Where? I do not see it. Drones. We've learned how to make drones in disguise. Okay. Well, um, hmm. More travel and more training, I guess. And also interpreters, so we stop upsetting all the people with my coalition soldiers. We are going to place you over here, I guess. We'll attach this on here. And let's hold on to this ground. I'd like to get a... Oh, uh, I can't get a garrison over here. Interesting. Let's get a garrison over here just to make sure that we can hold this. Again, as long as we're holding some of the bridges, they're not going to be getting out of these mountains. I'm going to try to use the coalition soldiers to push them into the mountains and stop the spawns. That's what I'm after right now. Fighting quite a few at the same time, but it looks like we're still winning that. Somehow we killed all of them. So these guys didn't have a chance to retreat, even though there shouldn't have been a blockade. Let's go ahead and push forward a little bit. We're going to take out one of their local strongholds in the city, as well as a minefield, which is uh, reducing my travel time by kind of a lot. Um, this corruption's real bad, and yet somehow I'm not losing any reputation due to a corruption issue. So that's pretty nice. Um, okay, well, hmm. Um, 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 what else do people want? Jobs? I'll tell you what, we're gonna go for the export agencies and the agricultural logistics. That should solve the problem for a while, probably. Maybe? I don't know. Increased pay of national soldiers. I'm not sure why I'm doing fine on money, but I am. 107% corruption? That's a little spoopy. Let's get some drones up and running, maybe some better, uh, garrisons or something. At this point, I'm kind of wondering, can I literally just ignore corruption? Like, can I literally just ignore it? Because it seems that way, I just... It just feels wrong to do that. Uh, they're about to come and attack over this direction, so let's make sure we win this fight real quick. I do want to move some garrisons forward, if possible. Right here would be fine. Hold on to this. Move you here. Move you here. Okay. Uh, let's get some guns. Make our national soldiers better. And let's get airstrikes just to make it a little bit easier to win some of these fights. Start bombing some of these bases. Unfortunately, the bases uh, can survive more than one hit. That's interesting. Uh, fund the military. Why not? We'll just make these guys a little stronger. Yeah, corruption goes up, but apparently corruption doesn't matter. We can be as corrupt as we dang well want in this brave new world. I love it! Uh, sure, right. We're gonna have faster trading national soldiers, uh, and stuff. That, that should be good. 
and by faster, we mean training up a lot faster, apparently. Okay, gonna clear all this nonsense out. They're gonna move you forward, start working against this camp over here. These guys are getting chased away. Perfect, perfect, that's what I like to see. Let's go ahead and train a bunch more soldiers, because I can. They're a little expensive. 47 bucks for another coalition soldier? Holy cram! What is going on in this world? All right, well, that's fine. Uh, we'll move you there, and we'll move you here, and we'll start fighting them in the mountains. I don't know, I'm just gonna fight them wherever they are. I don't really care. You move here, and you move here, and we have enough units that we should easily be able to win this. The insurgent activity was crushing my reputation for a while, but as we are gradually pushing these guys away, I think it's going to get easier and easier. We're going to have you guys move over here and just try to make sure nothing can spawn in this area. I'm not sure why uh, education desires are not being met. I feel like they should be, but okay. Water. Yeah, no corruption. What about police? Oh, there's the anti-corruption! Right, I had to get police in order to reduce the corruption. My mistake, I, I didn't know that. Oh, we got a free garrison by destroying a camp over here, too. Well, that's pretty nice. Let's move you down, y'all. And let's also place a garrison over here. Makes it easier to keep these guys uh, contained a little bit more. They are trying to attack me over here. Don't think it's going to go very well for them. No, don't destroy my garrison. I worked hard for this. I will fight you over it. Dang it. Didn't work because we weren't able to reinforce over here fast enough. Well, I hate that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. What else can we do? Civil assistance? Sure. How about some more guns and heavier ordnance? Seems completely easy to me. No problem whatsoever. We'll just keep rolling out as many initiatives as I can, stabilize a lot of these realms, and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna threaten the royalists. You want a king back? Are thou insane? I don't know. Just a little, just a little tyranny, I guess. Guess, oh man, you guys remember when Crusader Kings released? Somebody, oh gosh, what was his name? Monster door? No, something. So, this is another YouTuber released this wonderful little thing, uh, Just a Little Tyranny, which is kind of based off of, um, uh, I think it was Hamilton? Yeah, Hamilton and the song by, like, The King. Oh, man, that was, uh, that was a good one. Anyway, Bill the Garrison. Not everyone here watches these things is familiar with CK3, but it was fun. I technically got to sing in that video a little bit, too. I'm one of the background voices. It was fun. We are going to allow the removal of a coalition soldier unit. I'm not even going to negotiate for it because honestly, I don't feel like I need to. Let's move forward a little bit over here. Move you forward over here. Move you forward over here. And we can go for the kill. There's their camps. We'll destroy it. Threaten them one more time. Stupid royalists. Civil integration should be fine. How about some civil support and set checkpoints to make sure that no one gets around and does anything? Coalition deployment will be ending pretty soon. And look who snuck around me. Of course they did. Uh, Oh, Lordy. Uh, all right, you guys get over here, please. Um, we need to surround these guys and... Oh, hang on. We need to surround and kill these guys real quick. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Let's go for more frequent airstrikes for good measure. You are going to do... Whoa, whoa, whoa. 60 reputation. Freak that. All right, you go home. Yeah, no, 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 no. You just, you just go home. I don't even need you here. I don't even need you here. It's fine. Let's uh, send you over this way, you over this way, you over this way. How are we doing as far as needs? Healthcare is still a thing. You know, I guess I never did really invest in anything else. It's kind of weird to me how expensive everything is. It's not just the inflation, all right? The inflation's a thing, but it's not just that. Also, is there no foreign relations office? It doesn't seem like there is. So we're going to counter-strike and destroy some of the uh, diplomatic relations, but it's better than trying to accuse them and it backfires in the international community because no one takes me super serial. Uh, no garrisons allowed in remote zones at all, apparently. Uh, we're just gonna hold on to that for a minute, then. People really want to get healthcare and stuff? That's no problem. We'll take care of that. Oh, the coalition soldier's back. Thank you! Um, alright. Cool. Let's get some healthcare initiatives. State healthcare, services, medical supplies, personal health program. There's kind of a lot of initiatives in this scenario. I am kind of impressed by that. Quite a lot. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to talk to them. Since they can't do anything right now, we can start pushing toward an aggressive peace deal. Start pushing you forward along over there. We're going to have insurgents are banned. We should be able to quickly destroy that camp. Shouldn't be very hard to do. I'm going to place another garrison over... Let's say up over here to be safe or something. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. It's only five bucks. Unless you just want to make sure we destroy this nice and quick, which we can do, and say goodbye. Then we are going to imprison. As long as there are no insurgents on the map, you make progress on this really, really fast. At least you normally do. We got to keep clicking on the dang events to make it go faster. Uh, you guys got to go over there. We have this guy retreating in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and try to make more progress on this as fast as we can. Hang on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We already have garrisons in place, so actually we shouldn't need anything there. Send you home, send you here, and you here. Okay, so we can fight in the mountains, make sure nothing spawns up over there. Then international forces can remain as long as we dang well want. The mercenaries, of course. What we really just did was just say, hey, you know what? Mercenaries and Contettieri are allowed to stay forever. 
Pesticides, why not? Chance of farms collapsing, and yeah, they did, but you know. You win some, you'll lose some. That's how it goes, it's fine. Move over here, and these guys will have nowhere to retreat. Oh gosh, dang it with the whole Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna reject the deal since there are insurgents on the map. We're gonna counter strike again. And we gotta kill all these guys off, and then we gotta get up over Myaw, and then we gotta deal with that. Looks like they spawned a camp, so I gotta No wait, that's no, never mind. We already have that garrison there. I don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't matter, ignore it. Come on, peace deal. A little bit faster. A little bit faster. Whoops. Let's go ahead and land over here before they do anything. Found another camp. Of course we did. Yeah, it's fine. We got garrisons all over the dang place. These guys can't go anywhere. Airstrike it! Bomb it from above! Anyone? No? You don't wanna? Oh, gosh dang. This is gonna continue to be an issue, isn't it? It's just gonna be one of them scenarios. Here's another garrison. Why not? Why are we not getting more support, honestly? I'm really kind of confused by this. These guys are not liking me as much as I feel like they ought to. Yeah, look at this. These guys basically have absolutely no love for me whatsoever. Something's a little bit wonky in this scenario, in that I can't seem to actually get people to approve for me, even though I have extremely high support level. So something's been rebalanced here. I'm not gonna say that it's unbalanced in the sense that, like, it's bad. I'm just gonna say it's not intuitive. It seems like you can stabilize half the map and the other half is almost scripted not to accept a peace deal. Kind of weird, right? Anyway, we'll just go ahead and do this. It just means you're not allowed to stabilize the entire zone all the way up to 100% on your own. You really need to go for the peace deal, which basically means get a lot of military forces, keep the royalists under control, stamp them down so that they have no choice but to accept your offer. That's called leverage, folks. It's a really powerful tool. You guys should use it. The budget's been frozen. What? Right? What? Right? Right when I win? How dare you? Ah, it's fine. All right, so Operation Revolution stabilized the region. People have hope for the future. In our new, I don't know, what do you want to call it? What kind of, what kind of, a, I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it a, a, uh, a pseudo-syndicalistic dictatorship. Yeah, that's the kind of government that I've established over here. Everyone follows me. That's perfect. All right, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.